Hey guys, here we are at 909 Day. I want to say hello to everybody at Kraft. It's really a pleasure that I can talk to you about the System 8, brand new killer keyboard that uh, it's a uh, it's a brand new sound but it also is a plug out synthesizer as well so you have the system 8 sounds you can also have the Jupiter 8 and you can also have the Juno 106 and you could bring in any other plug out sound like the Pro Mars or system or the uh, SH uh, 101 anything you want you can have it there so As you can hear the effects, you have built-in effects here, but let's just talk a little bit about the oscillators. Now we have three different oscillators. You have the two main oscillators and the third oscillator is a sub. Okay? Now what we're sporting here is we have dual super saw, dual square, and triangle, you know, and it's like that was really made famous by the JP8000 when we introduced the super saw. Well now we got the dual super saws. So Now the thing that's also very cool is that with all these different oscillators we have variations of those oscillators. And of course the color where you can detune the super saws and just adjust the character of the sound. Also you have variations of the filter which allows you to go into the sideband filters. Very cool onboard effects. So just with a couple of tweaks I went from this sound, that's the resulting sound and there's the original. Very very powerful. Now also what's really cool is that you have sounds that are, with, uh, you have the velocity sensitivity at the amplifier stage and also at the filter stage and it's a knob right on the front. So that's very, very cool because it gives you instant access to do very dynamic sounds. Also, you have a very, very cool step sequencer. Now, what's really cool about the step sequencer is that you can adjust the gate amount and you can also adjust the first and last step. So I'll play the sequence again. First step, or I'll do the last step. So again, you can adjust the gate amount. Let me get another example that'll really show that off. So I have this example here. Of course, very short gate time. Right? Open up the gate time. Of course, it's different than release. If I want to shuffle it, Playback. So you have all kinds of different playback modes. Now another thing that's really nice is that you have something uh, over here called the chord memory and it makes it very easy to create very cool chords. So let's take something like, uh, let me find a really cool sound. Uh, let me see. If you look, it's a very easy to get through the different sounds. These are the different banks and these are the different sounds within the bank. 
So it's really simple to operate. Now, I got this sound, this overtone string sound. And what's really nice about this is that I can have these oscillators, these super saw waveforms, going through the sideband filter, which is this filter variation number two. So I get a lot of different colors. You hear all that stuff? It's super nice. Now, let's say that I don't know how to play a bunch of different chords. So I'll use the chord sequencer. So I just hold this down, or the chord memory, and I just play the notes. Right? Now, I play it. You can change it to whatever you want. Now you can store up to one chord memory per patch. So that's really, really nice. Okay, so that's just patch mode. And of course you have all the Jupiter sounds that you want. You can have the, the Juno 106 sounds. Um, now patch mode is one sound at a time. You go into performance mode and now you can layer two of these incredible sounds. Now you heard how amazingly varied the, the sound was, but the thing that's really cool about the performance mode is that now you have two. You can layer them, you can split them, you can do some really awesome things like I got this. Really cool sound on the bottom, and now I got this. It's just super cool. There's also CV gate control, and it's green. It's awesome, right? Um, so that's the System 8 here at 909 Day. Hey, everybody at Kraft.